Dean Kanamaya steps. Give me a star out here for, uh, well, with Keegan Zamello for Lady Laidlaw. And this is 15 to 10 when we had a look at it this morning. Platinum Sky, the second choice at 4 to 1. And there's a little bit of money for um, Gareth Sauce, Gareth Von Zell's fight song, who's shortened from 7 to 1 into 6 to 1. Appears like everything else is on the drift. Darren, let's summarize here. It's a 1600 meter. Can we go in with Dean Kanemeyer's horse, or are you are you nervous about Sean Terry's Platinum Sky? I do believe we can go in with Gimme a Star. He's ahead of the handicapper, and I expect a decent pace in the race, which is going to suit him down to the ground. He'll be flying home late. Uh, Platinum Sky, I make the only danger, but he has to give Gimme a Star three kilos, which won't be easy. Okay, interesting. And uh, we know a little bit about Platinum Sky. We watched last time, Daryl, you and I, we thought it was rather unlucky, the source. And yes, it's a pity like, that it's not running in a, uh, like an 1800 or perhaps even a 2000. I don't know. Yeah, that's certainly in Gimme a Star's favor that it's a mile because Platinum Star is looking, Platinum Sky is looking for a furlong or two further. Uh, I thought that was a disappointing comeback as of Gelding. I expected him to finish closer, but he did have valid excuses, Clyde. So he could have come on. No, he never got a run, did yeah, he? Yeah, he could have come on since then. Uh, but I would have made him a major player if it was a touch further. But his class could certainly pull him through, Clyde. He's above average sort and he's going to strip fitter. So I'm not discounting his chances. Give me a star. Now, a lovely one last time out, uh, like Darren touch on. Could be well ahead of the handicapper. I don't think the four-pound penalty that he picked up will uh, pose any issues today. And he's going to strip fitter, Clyde. So he is the, certainly the one to beat. Um, I backed him up with full blast. Now, you can certainly discount his runs on the poly because I do believe he's a, he's a better turf sort. And they now remove the blinkers and put him back over a mile. If you go back a few runs, his best run to date has been over the 1500 at Scottsville. That form line is really holding up strongly, Cloud. There's been several winners from there. So if the favorite and uh, Platinum Mascara fluff their lines, I'm hoping something like a full blast is there to pick up the pieces. Mm, okay. Interesting. Full blast, maybe. That's a bit of a shrewdy to follow. But the favourite is clearly the first choice and a good first choice, too. This is our intentions for this race. Here's the tote. We're taking the exactors one, three, and four. That's the principal play out of race six.